Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and I guess it's been a while since you've seen a video with me in it, and things have changed if it's been a while since you've been to the channel. For one, I'm in a blue truck now. No, I didn't exactly change companies. <laughs> companies kind of changed me. Is that right? No? Back at the end of 2019, GNP Trucking, which I've been driving for since 2016, was acquired. But we're now operated by NFI. And I guess it's been a smooth transition, because work has been steady. Uh, they always have something for me to do. But there's little differences, like big tires. NFI likes rolling with super singles which GMP was more of a double tires kind of a box. And instead of Omnitrack Qualcomm, we now use PeopleNet, which makes per diem a little different. There's a, an app that tracks you now instead of just the Qualcomm doing it. And none of those are what I would call bad things. Everyone's got a raise since NFI acquired GMP truck. And so uh, I guess everything's cool, but I'm gonna be leaving before the end of the year. That's the plan anyway, but it ain't gonna be easy. But today is not that day. Today, we're gonna be trucking. But before we do, and we get ready to start the last and final season of Trucker Gym, what do you say we kick that old Trucker Gym intro? With me now. Had to make a quick stop at Aldi to get some groceries, get some water, and we've got some fun stuff to cook in the air fryer this week. So now it's back to the terminal. It would be awesome if we just went straight to Laredo, one off the yard. That's probably not going to happen. More than likely, I'll need to do a local delivery to get an empty and then go somewhere and hopefully it's dropping hook. It's about a 50-50 shot if I have to stop off in Houston or if we'll go straight to Laredo. But Laredo is a 1,300 mile run. And when you do 1,300 mile runs, it usually adds up pretty good. We're back in the truck. Now the challenge is to fit all this stuff in my little refrigerator. This will be a first. A little ground lamb, which will be cooked in the air fryer, of course. And we've got everything in there, guys. Boom! How about them nuts? <laughs> Those are unusually large balls for a squirrel, right? <laughs> I made that thumbnail on my new iPad. But where that came from, as far as the squirrel anyway, there's a... There's a barbecue restaurant across from the Pilot that I had lunch in the other day, and beside it was a store that, well, you guessed it, they sell nuts, pecans, almonds, those kind of things. And they have this squirrel outside, so I snapped a picture of it with my iPhone. And then I got to messing around with it. Those are actually cow balls that are hanging from the squirrel. But in the new season, I'm doing something different. I'm making the thumbnail first, before the video. In years past, I would make a video and then I'm like, what in the world am I going to name this thing? And then make a thumbnail. But nah, I'm going to come up with a name and a thumbnail before we even hit record. But that's just one of the things you guys can expect in the new season. Another is... It's fun on the iPad. Look at this, guys. This thing's awesome. But what I wanted to show you is some of my artwork. This is a little logo for my film company, Kichi Films. We'll talk more about Kichi in an upcoming video. But I've got a few of Boone. Boone on the beach. But we've got more. We've got this one. It is so much fun creating on this iPad. Let me show you this other crazy app. This is called Endless Paper, right? This crazy little artistic collection. It's got a little MTV logo right there. MTV turned 40 earlier in the week. But if we zoom on in, 
There's all kind of stuff going on here. We got Mr. Green Hornet chasing <laughs> that thing. And then, um, Bag of Taters. And this little alien with red, alien with red pants. But if we keep, but if we keep zooming on in. That was the first thing I drew, the TJ, and it just kept expanding unidentified flying object. And then notability, you can create a lot of good notes of all sorts. This was my drone study guide here. If you would like some original Trucker Jim artwork, let me know in the comments. I don't know if that's going to be a thing in the future, but I hate to put limitations on myself. Thanks a lot for clicking play on this video. I'm going to ask for you guys' help. There's a big transition coming up as this year comes to a close. I'll get more into that as the new season goes. But I will be pursuing other avenues, other income streams with my video ambitions, and before I'm going to be eligible for Amazon links, sponsorships, branded videos, those sort of things, the channel really needs to grow a little bit. So I've set a minimum goal to be over 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Need about 1,500 more. But if you have yet to become a subscriber of the Trucker Gym channel, do it now because not only is there iPad art, drone footage, and knowledge for some really good books, especially this one here, Your Forces and How to Use Them. We're going to be covering all that and more. And for some of you, it's going to be an inspiration because I could do what's easy and just shut up and do my job and be a truck driver. Or I could go for something more. And that's what I'm going to do. But there will be more videos coming this month. New season, August 21. I'll see you then, but until then, until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking. All right, you made it to the end. I know some people clicked away, but I've got one more thing. Here's a quick job posting of the texas fleet here at nfi slash gmp trucking that i'm on i have mentioned that i'm gonna be leaving before the end of the year but definitely don't want to burn any bridges and would and what would be appropriate is me replacing myself with a couple of drivers that's a good fit for this texas fleet here's some details about it it's over 50 cent a mile it's long runs to the border it's pretty good and there's Cajun food along the way. I will give some attention to some driver jobs here at NFI. And of course, we're going to be talking about trucking stuff. But we are in the last stretch of summer. So get out and have some summer fun if you hadn't already. And I'll see you guys in the new season. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.